Thank you. As the president gets ready for the kickoff of the 2020 campaign, he's also making moves on several issues from immigration to Iran. KTK's Casey Koviak right now here with that report. Casey. Oh, yes, that's right, Neil. On the heels of the resignation of Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan, President Trump has made several announcements ahead of his planned campaign launch, putting issues in front of the voters he wants to reach. President Trump ahead of his campaign kickoff tonight in Florida, taking action on several fronts. On immigration, a promise to remove millions of undocumented migrants from the U.S. starting next week. This is really about the, the same kind of fear that has driven the Trump, uh, the administration's approach and using immigration as a hammer. A promise he made during his 2015 campaign kickoff. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. And his 2016 promise to build a wall, just one part of the plan. You know, change in the venue from the wall onto rounding up migrants and sending them back. Uh, that that might be, in his mind, more attainable than maybe getting the walls. On foreign policy, the president sends more than a thousand troops to the Middle East amid escalating tensions. Iran's leader says he doesn't want war, and that sentiment is echoed by Washington. President Trump does not want war, and uh, we will continue to communicate that message while uh, doing the things that are necessary to protect American interests uh, in the region. On the trade war with China, President Trump announced he'll talk with that country's leader next week at the G20 summit in hopes of finding a deal. The president today checking boxes for immigration, national security and trade. All these moves are red meat for the base. A taste of 2020 as President Donald J. Trump runs for a second term in the White House. And back to the topic of illegal immigration, a senior Mexican official said Monday that about 4,200 migrants were arriving at the U.S. border every day. Reporting live in the studio, Casey Kopiak, KETK News. Yes.